I'm not trying to blot out the sun like I said in the previous episode when I was stealing the pineapple. Does everybody remember? You're just trying to steal Roach Lahoma? It could be worse. I could be illegally downloading my musicals. Ugh. I hate that new invisibility power. Woo! Hi! What the heck was that, Yin? I... I was distracted by that weird cheering. Yeah! It's for us. Here, let me sign that for you. How do you spell Yin? Um, why are you still here? I was going to spell Yang. Y A N G. I never got to use fame to meet a girl. Any last words before I pop in the DVDs and do a little two-step on your grave, hmm? Yo! Yo, back at the sweet cake! No, no, no! Yo! Ah! Open your eyes, bro. He's not going away. What's the matter with you two? You could have been killed! Or we could have been cheered! Or... True heroes don't showboat, kids. That's a novice woo-foo mistake, and you'll get your belts back when you learn that. Hey! You're taking our belts away? This is why I don't wear pants. Ugh! Every time I get close to beating them, they end up scurrying to the safety of their dojo. What I need is a way to steal that dojo from them and kick their butts while distracting them at the same time. But how? 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 Sir, that magic remote you sent out to get fixed after episode one is back. Excellent, dude! If they like an audience so much, let's see how they like it when I take their stupid dojo away from them in front of one! Give the sweet of my world of yin and yang Two kids, one life, and the whole shebang When things get rough, you know where to hang It's the sweet of my world of yin and yang Kicking will take place in front of a live studio audience. Morning, Yang. Morning, Yang. Nice face. Lose a bet. <laughs> okay. Uh, hey, Corky and I are gonna go to sneak into the movies. Wanna come? Even though I don't know anyone named Corky? I can't, Yang. The cutest guy ever just checked into room 17, and I'm gonna pretend to be a princess from a foreign country so he'll notice me, which is not only the dumbest plan ever, but really boy crazy. Even for me. You could let one rip. He'd notice you then. <laughs> Man, I'm killing here. And these aren't even my best slams. You have good ones? <laughs> okay, now that's totally weird. I'm killing here. Our second clue that something is wrong. Master Yo! Talk to the paw, cause the bear ain't listening. You have a catchphrase? Since when do you have a catchphrase? Since you've been zapped into my sitcom. By me, Carl the Evil Cockroach Landlord. Evil Cockroach Landlord? Like the dump suit? Isn't it nice? And if you don't pay the rent by six tonight, I will own the dojo! Um, I mean, uh, oh, hotel. Uh, or whatever it is. Wait, 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 wait. I'm pretty sure that's not how the whole landlord thing really works. It's a dumb sitcom! You gotta play by dumb sitcom rules. Don't you know anything? How do we know we're trapped in a dumb sitcom? <laughs> We now return to the sweet of my world of yin and yang. Seriously? You came back after the commercial? Man, I'd have been gone. Hey, Yang! <laughs> we love you, Corky! We gotta enter the mule races. First prize is the world's largest pie. Huh? Huh? Wanna join? Wanna join? <laughs> Woo! Already signed you up. And it looks like we have a wacky neighbor. Are you Corky? Yep, for doodle. I hate you already! <laughs> Big bucket of shut up! We love you, Yang! Although, I could get used to that. Oh, think you could get used to that, too? That's it, Carl! Spaz! Oh, hey! We love you, Yang! Thank you! I'll be here all week! Way to eat pole, Yang, but lunch is at noon? <laughs> you like me! You really, really like me! It's not so great to be playing to an audience now, is it? And remember, at 6 o'clock, if you don't have the money, I own the dojo. Good luck getting your act together until then, Paul. Hey, I could get used to this. 
Sitcom rules are stupid. How do we get out of this? Haven't you two learned yet? Yes, the sweetified world of yin and yang will return after this message. And don't come out until this room is spotless. Aww. Rashberry fruit wads make every job fun. Ready to clean that room now? No, but you are. <gasps> Rashberry fruit wads make any job fun. Keep scrubbing. <laughs> hey, that commercial cut me off. I wish you had commercials all the time. Talk to the pop. If the sweetified world of yin and yang will return, that's it. The elderly comic relief is out of here. But how do we raise enough money to save the dojo it tell thing by six? Time to open a Corky's famous lemonade stand. Run by me, Corky. <laughs> we love you, Corky. Wow, that is stupid. But stupid works on a show like this. Yang, you start a newspaper to get the word out while I throw a huge benefit concert to raise money what again we're in a dumb sitcom we don't have the budget for a live concert yeah i know watch this wow that was the most amazing benefit concert we could never afford to film ever extra extra read all about it concert raises enough money to save dojo and yang gives up fake convenient newspaper business ow right in the personals hey 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 who's red and brown and evil all over <laughs> i'm the villain they you raised the money? That's right. It's sitcom rules. And since we're the stars of this show, we're going to win every time. The audience loves us. You're right. So let's zippity zip to next week's episode. Whee! In and yeah. Yep. Still weak. The, the money's, money's gone. gone. Because it's a new episode. And if you don't pay the rent by six tonight, I will own the dojo. Um, I mean, uh, oh, hotel. Or whatever it is. We're not afraid of you. The audience loves us. Did I mention I have a spunky child sidekick? Uh, say hello, spin-off! Yeah. yeah, that's the love me! <laughs> nice catchphrase, don't you think? Yeah, in a so dumb I want to eat my own face off sort of way. You don't want me? Spin-off's the perfect replacement as you get older and uglier and... And don't win every time! You fiend! It'll never happen! Hey, guys! I just won the coconut lottery! Ouch, ouch. You do? See? Meanwhile, it's time for a very special episode. Where the landlord destroys you and finally gets his mother to love him! Hey, where's the aww? Take this! Jin? Yes, Yang? I know times look tough. Yeah. I know the dawn is dark and the dogs are at the door. I know. With dog sticks? Yeah. And dog zookas? Uh-huh. In the dark? They are. Like I said. Like you said. But I'm gonna do what heroes always do in times of trouble. What's that, Yang? Make a big, long speech! Oh, wait. That was the speech. Okay. So, let's go out there and kick some butt butt! <laughs> Master Yo was right. I guess that's what we get for showboating. But Carl's having it up worse than we are. Talk to the pod, because the bear ain't listening. Yeah, that's the love me. Woo! What the? Get out of there! We have to get that remote. But how do we get it? How? How? Hey, gang. I found this great old delivery man outfit. <gasps> Want to pull a prank on old landlord Carl? <laughs> For Carl, the evil cockroach landlord. Yes, I'm Carl. Dear sir, you are the winner of the million coconut lottery. Nice. To claim your prize, just turn in your magical remote control to the delivery man. Come on! That's lame-brained even for this show. What? You you think I should should do it? They love you, Carl. Okay, okay, all right. Here's the remote. Give me one I deserve. Here you go, guys. From Corky to you. Ha <laughs> ha! Finally! Time to watch something good. Wait. You got to love me. Say goodbye, Carl. Goodbye, Carl. Shut up! Well, I guess you kids earned your bounce back. Yeah. I just want to let someone else get all the attention now. Raspberry fruit wads make any job fun. They do not! 